Investors rejoice. DFA funds are now available to retail investors in the form of ETFs. Here we'll explore the most popular ETFs offered by dimensional fund advisors. Mutual funds have begun migrating to ETF equivalents, even across traditional brokers like Fidelity and Schwab. Perhaps the most anticipated has been dimensional fund advisors, or DFA for short. In a nutshell, DFA offers funds that provide broad, diversified market exposure with targeted evidence-based factor exposure in order to both manage risk more effectively and boost boost expected returns, all at a relatively low cost. While they are technically actively managed, they are more indexy than the true active we usually think of. DFA managers are assembling funds based not on an arbitrary selection of stocks, but rather a systematic compilation of a rigidly defined group of stocks with particular characteristics. They have been converting their mutual funds to ETFs recently and simultaneously lowering fees. Dimensional Fund Advisors was founded in 1981 and led the way in implementing factor-based funds. Its co -founder Founder David Booth was also heavily involved in pioneering index funds. Their board of directors includes famous names like Eugene Fama, Kenneth French, and Myron Scholes. Merton Miller was one of the original founding board members. DFA has long been the gold standard for data-driven factor tilts like value and profitability, used by many asset management firms like Buckingham Strategic Wealth and PWL Capital. Previously, Dimensional's funds were unavailable to DIY retail investors, which is why their launch of ETFs is so exciting. Recall that the key to factor investing is the implementation of factor targeting, which is altogether a different feat compared to the identification of a factor. The appeal of Dimensional is their proprietary, robust, impressive implementation. DFA's consistent academia-derived strategies have been refined over the course of 40 years. They aim to focus on capturing the market, size, value, and profitability factor premia while maintaining portfolio diversification across cap sizes and geographies, as well as minimizing turnover, trading costs, and tax impact. So far, DFA DFA has released quite a few new ETFs for retail investors, which we'll discuss here, but they've also converted several of their tax-managed mutual funds to ETFs as well. The dimensional ETF landscape can be extremely confusing to navigate, and they don't seem to make much of an effort to simplify it. I've tried to make it more understandable by breaking these up into parent categories. Also note all these ETFs are for equities. First we'll go over their three new core market ETFs. As the name suggests, these three core equity market ETFs are designed to be a broad core holding with light factor tilts. In my opinion, these three ETFs don't look terribly different from plain vanilla index funds from Vanguard, for example. These may arguably be appropriate for the novice investor dipping their toes into factors. First is DFAU, the Dimensional U.S. Core Equity Market ETF. As the name suggests, DFAU aims to provide broad U.S. market exposure with an active light tilt towards smaller stocks, which is size, with strong profitability metrics, which is profitability, and a lower relative price, which is value. Think basically a U.S. stock market index fund that skews towards smaller stocks that we should expect to outperform the market over the long term based on the research. In its extremely short lifespan thus far since January 2021, DFAU has outperformed the S&P 500 index and with lower volatility. Hopefully the value premium is making a resurgence. DFAU has an expense ratio of 0.12%. Next is DFAI, the Dimensional International Core Equity Market ETF. DFAI takes the same approach described for DFAU, but this time for developed markets outside the United States. If you desire factor exposure outside the US, DFAI is a reasonable solution. On the other hand, you may be content with factor exposure in US stocks and a simpler, cheaper international equities fund like VXUS from Vanguard. This factor targeting in developed markets comes at a bit of a cost. DFAI has an expense ratio of 0.18%. The last of these core market ETFs is DFAE, the Dimensional Emerging Core Equity Market ETF. DFAE applies Dimensional's approach to emerging markets. I'm a fan of overweighting emerging markets relative to developed markets in a U.S. heavy portfolio, as developed markets are highly correlated to the U.S. This fund has the highest expense ratio of the three at 0.35%. Dimensional started its conversion of several of its tax-managed mutual funds to ETFs in June 2021. The following four funds are the resulting ETF equivalents. The name of this section refers to the mutual fund conversions. It's not meant to suggest that these ETFs are more tax efficient than others on this list. After all, the ETF vehicle is inherently more tax efficient than a mutual fund. First is DFUS, the Dimensional U.S. Equity ETF. 
DFUS used to be DTMEX, the tax-managed U.S. equity portfolio. This ETF should provide similar exposure to DFAU earlier, but at a slightly lower fee of 0.11%. Next is DFAS, the Dimensional U.S. Small Cap ETF. DFAS is formerly the tax-managed U.S. Small Cap Equity Portfolio, DFTSX. Its expense ratio has been lowered from 0.43% to 0.33%. While Dimensional is known for small cap value, keep in mind this ETF broadly covers the small cap space in the U.S. with a light value tilt. Next on the list is DFAT, the Dimensional U.S. Targeted Value ETF. DFAT is formerly the tax-managed U.S. Targeted Value Portfolio, DTMVX. The fund has nearly $6 billion in assets. Its expense ratio dropped from 0.43% to 0.33%. As the name suggests, this fund does indeed provide significant loading on the value factor, but is more of a mid-cap value fund than a true small-cap value fund. Its loading on the size factor is considerably lower than popular small cap value funds like VIOV and AVUV. It also doesn't seem to care as much about profitability and investment, whereas VIOV's underlying index methodology and AVUV's active management provide appreciable exposure to both of these as well. Last in this section is DFIV, the Dimensional International Value ETF. DFIV is formerly the Tax Managed International Value Portfolio, DTMIX, with its expense ratio lowered from 0.50% to 0.35%. Now we'll go over the Core Equity 2 ETFs. The 2 in the name for the next few funds means more aggressive factor tilts than the broader funds we covered at the top. So these four are still broadly diversified core funds, but just with greater factor loadings. As such, these funds are arguably more appropriate for the dedicated factor investor who still wants broad core diversification. First up is DFAC, the Dimensional U.S. Core Equity 2 ETF. DFAC is formerly the TA U.S. Core Equity 2 portfolio, DFTCX, with its fee lowered from 0.23% to 0.19%. Again, the number 2 in the name means more aggressive factor tilts than the lighter, broader funds mentioned previously like DFUS and DFAU. Because of this, DFAC is by far the most popular ETF on this list in terms of assets under management. Next is DFIC, the Dimensional International Core Equity 2 ETF. DFIC is the equivalent of DFAC for ex-US developed markets. This fund has a fee of 0.23%. Next up is DFEM, the Dimensional Emerging Markets Core Equity 2 ETF. DFEM is Dimensional's Core Equity 2 offering for emerging markets, meaning more aggressive factor tilts among developing countries. DFEM has a fee of 0.39%. Last for this section is DFAX, the Dimensional World ex-US Core Equity 2 ETF. DFAX is formerly the TA World XUS Core Equity Portfolio, DFTWX, with its fee lowered from 0.30% to 0.25%. Note that DFAX is the only fund on this list that captures both developed and emerging markets outside the US. With some hand waving, DFIC plus DFEM equals DFAX. These last three ETFs are the newest and most concentrated on the list with the greatest factor loadings. That doesn't necessarily make them the best funds on the list, though as these would not really be suitable as a core holding because they are not broadly diversified. As such, they should probably only be used to tilt. First is DFSV, the Dimensional U.S. Small Cap Value ETF. DFSV is a newer ETF on this list that launched in early 2022. It is inarguably the truest U.S. Small Cap Value fund on this list with vastly superior factor loadings compared to DFAT. Basically, for those wanting an ultra-targeted factor ETF from DFA for U.S. Small Cap Value stocks, DFSV would be the one to go with. DFSV has a mutual fund equivalent DFSVX that has been around since 1993. This fund has a fee of 0.31%. Next up is DISV, the Dimensional International Small Cap Value ETF. Think of DISV as the equivalent to DFSV for ex-US developed markets. In other words, it provides targeted small cap value exposure in developed countries outside the United States. DISV has a fee of 0.42%. DFEV, the Dimensional Emerging Markets Value ETF, rounds out this section for ultra-targeted factor exposure in emerging markets. DFEV has a fee of 0.43%. Thankfully, most of these DFA ETFs should be available at any major broker. What do you think of them? Do you own any or are you planning on buying any? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.